My name is Ateni from Ghana. I was born without disability, but when I was nine years old, I fell sick. Two weeks later, I couldn't talk any longer, and then I couldn't hear. My family tried talking to me, but I couldn't hear them. My auntie came and asked if I could live with her, saying that she would take me to school. But she didn't do that. Rather, she made me help her brew pito instead of allowing me to go to school and learn. One day a customer came. He proposed to me, but I refused. He came another time. He brought bread and some drink for my auntie, and she took it. My auntie told me to love the man, but I refused. But one day, the man deceived me, and I sat in his car. He took me far away and turned off the light and had sex with me there. Because of my disability, this is why this man had access to me. When my auntie realized that I had become pregnant, she was angry with me and beat me. I was no longer useful, so she took me back to my parents' home. That was about 10 years ago. My parents have been so kind to me since I acquired my disability. Because I am deaf, I couldn't hear the baby cry. So when I was asleep, my mother would bring the baby to me to feed. One day, a development worker from an organization called CBR came to our home and arranged vocational training so I could start a business and earn an income. It made me so happy. I learned dressmaking, hairdressing, and weaving. And now, that is my work. And I have a shop now, doing my weaving. Most people come to see what I am doing, and they appreciate my skills. They give me respect and treat me well. My goal is to earn enough to take good care of my son and family. What I am hoping for the future, for myself and my son, is that he becomes employed and independent and gets married. And I will also be in my shop doing my weaving and we will live together happily.